Today I'm going to be herping with the co-owner of the channel. I know y'all haven't seen him yet, he's pretty elusive, but he will be on this video, and he will have his own videos. I will still edit them, but you'll see him in them. This is Davis Pelche. Hello there. He and I are going to be herping um, his property today, around his house, little streams. His has a lot more moccasins than my house does, so that'll be fun. And I've seen some really cool things on the stream. I don't always get to come over here, but when I do, we usually find some pretty cool things. So, I'm going to check back with y'all in a little bit when we find our first thing, and I'll see y'all then. Wish us luck. We haven't found much, but we did see a green frog, and this is a nest of eggs. It's always fun to see these guys producing really prolific species, always great to have. I love these frogs. I used to think they were bullfrogs, but they are actually green frogs, and uh, they're a very, very essential part of the environment. All right, we'll see y'all guys with the next trip in a little bit. All right, guys, we're here with the next herp of the day. Saw this guy just sitting up here. Don't know what's going on, what, 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 he's, uh, what he's doing, but... Ooh. <laughs> ah, very, very angry. red oh, slider. Still... He's not happy I found him. Or she. She might be gravid. Yeah, it looks like a she. Yeah. Little red slider. Might get a picture of this girl and let her go. Very pretty. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks to the good efforts of Davis and uh, this snake glove, my hook. This is a little baby cottonmouth we just found. Or he's not so much a baby anymore. His pattern is gorgeous. Yeah, tail still there, yeah but he does still have that little yellow tail, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But we saw him over there, and we're able to transport him from that really bad area next to a rabbit hole all up in that bamboo all the way over here to this slightly nicer, very still hot, terrible. sunny, yeah, not, not the best of conditions bank. It's all right though, we're being extremely responsible, and uh, we'll get back to you in a bit. But look at this. Look at that pattern. He's really popping right now with the sunlight on him. He's got some gorgeous coloration. He's really pretty. I love them when they're at this stage, because they're, they're not in their full dark murkier color yet. Although, as you've seen in previous videos, they don't lose this pattern completely. They still do lose a little bit of it. You can look and see he's got a kind of aberrant pattern on his top. I've never seen them with this amount of complete banding. He's very gorgeous. I almost wonder if he's like some, he would be considered a morph if these were popular in the pet trade. But, uh. I wonder why they're not, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to move him into that little sunny spot. And, uh, we're gonna get some pictures, maybe some more good shots. Alright, I'll see y'all in a bit. Gotten him into a slightly better viewing position. He's again a gorgeous little guy, and we can look. Watch, he's getting mad. Right up there. That yellow tail is something they develop as little babies. They use that to lure and prey and eat them. This is a great way to tell them apart from water snakes as well. When they're this size, they have those bright yellow tails. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very gorgeous little guy. We're gonna get some pictures and then I'll see y'all in the next clip. So here we have, he's a little more aggressive than the adults I've caught. So we've got, without my hand in it, this venom glove. So there's no possible way I could get it venomated. But if we look, now look at this. There is no venom on there. Or holes in the glove. Yep, no holes in the glove and no venom. He just did a dry bite, which is what I've been talking about. These guys really don't want to waste their venom on people. They're not out to get you. Their venom's for food, not 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 big naked apes. So we will get some more pictures of this guy, and then we're gonna let him go. So we just flipped this rock up here. And there's this little guy. Looked like a worm at first, but what yeah, kind is it again? It's either a two-lined or a western dwarf salamander. We're not in range of the southeastern dwarf salamander. It's a much rarer cousin, which I have caught only once. But this is really great. I've been wanting to see another one of these guys for a while. So this is either a two-lined or a dwarf. I can't tell. I'll have to count its toes, which sounds silly, but is actually a very effective way to count the species. But yeah, I'm going to try to grab this guy and get some pictures. All right, guys, just another look at this little, uh, what I'm thinking is a western dwarf salamander. Could, of course, be a two-line salamander. I don't know. But, uh, y'all y'all will get the official diagnosis in the video probably earlier on. And, yeah, so we're going to put this guy back under his rock after Davis gets us some shots, and then I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, guys, we have here our next snake of the day. Very, very angry little guy. Yeah, yeah? Don't like my hand? Davis actually spotted this guy. We're walking over there, and he just goes, ah! And I'll, 
look over and Davis is in the water and I see a ribbon snake, or we're saying it's a ribbon snake. It could have been a rough green snake, but we'd be really sad if it was a rough green snake. So it's a ribbon snake. Um, went by that way and uh, Davis is in the water. I'm like, Davis, is up there. And he's like, no, it's not. And he pulls this guy out of the water. I'm like, oh, a banded water snake. It's a little broad banded water snake. A very pretty guy. We're going to get some pictures of him and then we'll let him go. Yeah. So Davis and I just walked, we uh, got out of the stream, walked across the street, checked out the plant nursery, met a really nice guy there, I don't know if you're watching right now, but I'll send you a link to the video. Um, we just flipped some trash in a burn pile and found this gorgeous speckled king snake. His colors are a little bit dull, I think he's about to go in shed, but look at, yeah, gorgeous speckled king snake. This is like the third one of the year for me, I usually don't find them this frequently. But uh, that's, that's a good sign for this year. Y'all been seeing my videos recently. Uh, I've almost already halved the number of uh, snakes I caught last year. And it's like the first couple of weeks of summer. Or first couple of weeks of spring. But yeah, this guy is gorgeous. We're going to take some pictures. And not put him back because that's a burn pile about to happen. We'll put him back by the stream we'll somewhere. Near it. Yeah. Yeah, good Look sign. At that. Yeah. We, we both yelled when we saw it. Dude, if I keep putting king snakes in the intros, people are going to be thinking I'm crazy. He's got a little something wrong with his tail there, yeah, but, uh... I was going to say, something had at his tail. That'll probably... That won't affect him too much. It'll heal up. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to get some pictures of this guy and, uh, let him go, go on his way. Alright, guys. We have just found an abandoned shack in the forest. Well, that does sound like a recipe to a horror movie to most people. To me, that sounds like a perfect hiding place for a rat snake or a king snake. So, it's really cool, surrounded by bamboo, which is not, I don't, I don't believe it's native to Louisiana. But we are definitely going to go through here and see what we can find. So, Davis and I will check back in with you if we find anything cool. And if not, we'll check back in with you when we do find something cool, just not here. Also, toilet paper. We're all set for the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Guys, we just came across our nest herp. It's a little uh, Gulf Coast toad. It's been a while since I've seen one of these guys. Or I say that, I did see one just last week. But, uh, still kept pretty cool. So, I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy and let him go back under his piece of tin. I'll see y'all in the next clip. Alright, so as you can see, we're on the side of the highway here. Uh, trying to look for newts. Um, didn't find a newt yet, but we did just find this big turtle. We're not gonna get any pictures of this guy. By the looks of things, this may be the last turp of the day. If this is, then uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and we'll hope to see you soon.